So since Android 12, you've been able to quickly sync all of your important data from an old iPhone or iOS device to a new Google Pixel or Android phone via cable. Switch to Android though is now a great option for those lacking a cable and because it's available, here's just how to use it. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So a little bit of background here is that the Switch to Android app available on iOS is basically Google's equivalent of the Move to iOS app that has been available on the Play Store for those wanting to make the jump opposite from Android to iOS. This brand new application lets you sync all of your old iPhone or iPad data to a brand new Android phone and it should work across most Android devices that have been updated or restored recently. In some cases though, before you start this process, you will need to pass through that initial Android setup phase and download any waiting system updates on a newer phone or a phone that has shipped recently, then restore your phone again, which shouldn't take too long as you're basically wiping nothing that is stored on your phone. The reason you might need to do this before you can actually access the new option or in full wholesale as it should be is because it's part of a new update to Google Play services and downloading any waiting updates will allow you to fully transfer some of your most important iPhone data without needing that extra cable. And although this new method is really nice in and of itself, using a wire is still the best way to transfer all of your iPhone data to an Android phone. This even includes, by using a cable, things such as SMS messages, even some applications that you may have downloaded as well on your iOS devices. Our actual advice, although this is a tutorial for this new wire-free method, is to go and use a lightning to USB-C cable where possible to ensure that all of your data is fully synced. But with that said, let's get started. Firstly, you'll need to download that Switch to Android app from the App Store on your iPhone or iPad device. And for some reason, this may not appear on the App Store itself using the search function. If so, you will need a direct link to do so, and you will find that down in the description below and in our pinned comment. Once it is installed, all you need to do is just launch it, accept the terms of service and the privacy policy acknowledgement, and then you'll need to now enable camera access by tapping that floating OK button in the pop-up. At least at this stage, we're done with your iPhone or iPad, at least for a little while. So from your Android in a restored or fresh launch state, ensure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone or iPad, and then continue through the initial setup process until you reach the copy apps and data screen. All you need to do now is tap next until prompted until you see a screen reading, find your old devices cable. Now you'll need to tap the no cable option in the bottom left, followed by continue. Now tap the switching from iPhone or iPad mini prompt that is just below the animated switching phones GIF. Allow a location access, then add your Google account to ensure that iOS calendar event data is synced to your new Android device. You can skip this step if you have no reason to sync the iOS calendar information. Now proceed to the scan your QR code with your iPhone or iPad camera page. Now we can pick up our iPhone or iPad again and point that QR code scanner at the QR code on your new Android phone. A prompt will appear reading switch to Android wants to join a Wi-Fi network of your specific device name. From here, just tap that little join option. A getting ready to connect screen will appear and attempt to connect your two handsets. Don't worry if this fails once or twice, sometimes this can take a couple of goes, but the system will allow you to restart that if you need to. Although if you do encounter continual problems during this connection process, you can actually tap the can't scan QR code option on your iPhone or iPad and Android phone to manually connect your devices using a network password and direct IP address information. This is just the same process, but you're doing this manually rather than scanning a QR code. When both devices are connected, you'll see a new prompt that will appear reading switch to Android would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. From here, just tap OK to initiate the transfer process. Now you'll be able to choose just what data is copied from your iOS device, including contacts, calendar events, photos and videos. Below these toggles, there is a disclaimer that only the photos and videos saved locally on your iPhone will be copied or transferred over to your new Android phone and that the media 
in your iCloud account will be handled later on in the process if you do want to transfer that. Once you have made your selection of choices to transfer, just tap the continue button. Now though, you will be prompted to enable access to all of the sections that you have pre-selected. Simply tap OK to allow access to those specific data points. Once you have confirmed this, all of the data on your iPhone or iPad that you have selected should now begin copying over to your Android phone. Back over on your Android phone, this process will occur completely in the background on your new Pixel or Android device, allowing you to continue through the normal setup procedure. Once the transfer process is complete on your iPhone screen, you will be prompted by the application to disable iMessage on your devices with a dedicated toggle. This will appear even if you have already disabled iMessage on your device, but it is at this point that we would always recommend that you go and check that. The final step on the switch to Android process allows you to send a request to copy photos from your iCloud account to Google Photos on your Google account. And this ensures that anything not locally stored on your iPhone or iPad is transferred to your Google account and not left behind. Back though on your Android device, a new screen will just confirm just what data has been copied successfully. You can now tap done to continue with the rest of your further device setup process. And again, now that is done, everything should be available to access on your new Android phone, including your contacts, photos, videos, or calendar data, especially that you have selected on your brand new phone. And as we have already mentioned, we do still highly recommend transferring your data with a lightning to USB-C cable for a full copy of all of the content on your iPhone running on your new Android device. And that's basically all there is to it. If, if you have any problems using the Switch to Android app, be sure to let us know down in the comment sections below. It is a really handy tool for people who maybe don't want everything, but they want a fair amount of things to come over from their older device to the new device. And hopefully this has helped you out a little bit. Thanks for watching this little Android basics video, talking you through the how to switch to Android process. And this entire series is here to help you make the most of your brand new Android device.